Hi everyone, I'm Tom. I'm a design and innovation engineer and I work in the NHS. And this story is going to be about masks. Ella was six years old. She had curly hair, a big smile, and wore hearing aids to help her understand what her friends were saying. Twice a year, a letter would arrive inviting Ella to come to the hospital to have her hearing aids checked. The hospital was great. She could always understand the people there. The man at the desk always smiled at her, the nurses spoke clearly, and everyone in the hearing aid workshop always chatted to her while they worked to fix her aids. Every visit, they would check her ears, ask her some questions, and then adjust her hearing aids so that she could hear everything that was going on. At the end of the visit, she was always allowed to choose a chocolate bar from the shop. This was the highlight. One day, the letter arrived asking Ella to go to the hospital. Ella was very excited, and when the day came, she could hardly sit still in the back of the car. But when she arrived, something was different. Everyone in the hospital was wearing masks, so she couldn't hear them, and it was so much harder to understand what they were saying. She didn't know if the man behind the desk was smiling, she couldn't hear what the nurses were saying, and it was impossible to chat to people who were working in the workshop. Ella felt sad and lonely. Even the promise of chocolate didn't help. On the way out, Ella passed a door which said engineering on it in large, friendly letters. Underneath that, in slightly smaller letters, was written, got an idea? We can help. Strange noises were coming from behind the door and Ella peered round it wide-eyed. Lots of people were looking at drawings and models and computer screens. They were making things and testing things, and someone was blowing up rubber gloves until they went and made everyone jump. Ella cleared her throat and said, excuse me, in a voice as loud as she could muster. Everyone stopped what they were doing and turned round. It says on the door that you can help with ideas. The effect was electric. Notepads appeared in hand, sticky notes were produced as if from nowhere, and pencils hovered over blank sheets of paper. Hi. My name's Abby, and I'm an engineer, said a friendly looking person holding a large notebook. Why don't you come and tell us what's on your mind? Over a cup of tea, Ella explained the problems she'd been having. The thing is, she told Abby, I need to see people's mouths moving when they talk. Otherwise, I can't understand them very well. But now everyone's wearing masks and I don't know what they're saying. And I thought that maybe there could be something that we could make that would help. As they chatted, Ella noticed that Abby had started sketching and scribbling, writing down numbers and notes. It wasn't long before Ella was holding a piece of chalk and pointing excitedly at something that she'd drawn on a blackboard. It looked like the masks that everyone was wearing, except this one was see-through. Ella came back every day for the next week, and each day she worked with Abby to solve a different puzzle. On Monday, they made models. Some had strings, some had ear loops, but soon they found one that was comfortable to wear. On Tuesday, they tried different materials. Tracing paper wasn't see-through enough. Cling film wasn't strong enough, but soon they found a plastic that was just right. On Wednesday, they did sums to decide what size the mask should be. Small masks were hard to breathe in. Big masks stuck out too far, but soon they found a size that worked. On Thursday, they called in lots and lots of different people to try out what they had made. The doctors asked for different colors. The nurses asked for more padding around the nose and Ella and Abby made lots of changes. And then on Friday, they were looking at, or rather looking through, a new mask. It was clear, and when Abby put it on, Ella could see her lips moving and could understand everything she said. At Ella's next appointment, everyone in the hospital was wearing the see-through masks. The man at the desk was smiling as he welcomed children to the clinic Ella could understand everything that the nurses said to her during her appointment. And as the technicians worked to fix her aids, she chatted away to them, telling them all about how she and her new friend Abby had made the mask. The chocolate bar at the end of that visit was the best she'd ever tasted.